Hi, welcome to the second video in my series focusing on applications for improving reading instruction. I've organized these apps by the Common Core standards. But first of all, why did I choose apps for this process? Well, once they're downloaded, there's usually no internet connection that's required. And I think apps are a very, very powerful way to help reach students that don't have high speed internet, internet access at home. Once they're at school or a library, they can download these and bring them home. This will help reduce the digital divide some of our students are experiencing. So let's jump into our first category. And this is the kindergarten standards for the Common Core. And we're gonna start with the first one that focuses on print concepts. So let's start looking at some apps that'll help us out. Remember, below you will see the SAMR level each one of these apps is associated with and the price. So this is just a quick overview of some apps that may help your students better understand the concepts of print. What does that mean according to the Common Core? Well, we're looking at a basic understanding of the organization and basic features of print. This also includes, are they able to follow words left to right, top to bottom, page by page, and also understand words are separated by spaces in print. So how can these apps help our students? The first one we're looking at is Come Learn Spellings. This app simply displays words as they light up and they light up from left to right which could help students with that print concept. Another one is Bob's Books. This is the light version, this is free. This uh, series has many categories. Students can drag and drop letters. They can spell with and without visual hints and also learn that left to right order. Here's one that's very popular with children. Of course, it's Disney Storytime. This is where uh, this app uses popular stories where, where children can also learn concepts of left to right as well as top to bottom. The page turning issue with this is a little sketchy, but students can still start getting the basic concepts of print. Let's look at the reading rainbow. What's, what's good about this particular app is that new books are added weekly. So topics constantly change. Maybe students can find ones that are you know, closer to their interest. But once again, this was set up to help students learn the basic concepts of print. The next one is Endless Reader. Endless Reader can help students le learn sight words and the concepts that words have meaning behind them. This is the introduction to vocabulary, the introduction to the deeper meaning behind words. We also have touch, look, and listen, my first words. This can help students learn unfamiliar words and the vocabulary meaning behind them. It can also help students understand rhyming and other basic concepts of print. Pixel and Parker is a popular app. It's also one that's general, generally good for print concepts, as is Super Y Phonics Fair and Play-Doh ABCs. Once again, Play-Doh is very popular. Anytime you can integrate students' interest with technology, with education, you are definitely on the right track. Let's move on to another concept. This is where students learn to recognize and name all the upper and lowercase letters. Let's look at some apps that could help us meet this standard. First of all, there's Starfall ABCs. Students get to recognize letters through positive reinforcement and play through interaction with this app and they're playing a game. In this approach, there's gonna be less stress and, uh, during the actual learning process, and they're still having fun. This would be a good tier two intervention students can do on their own. There's also introduction to letters. With this particular app, students learn the letter names along with their sounds, and this also allows for voice recording. How can this really assist our students? By actually playing a game, stress is reduced, but true learning can still take place. My students identified this as a very good tier three intervention. There's also the letter lab. What can the letter lab do? It allows students to recognize and write their ABCs. When the letter is shown, it's shown both the uppercase and lowercase, and it's also always accompanied by a picture. Having both of those forms uh, presented at the same time 
and a picture. It allows the students to make a connection between letter and sound and there's a better, better chance the student will remember with all the pictures, with all the reinforcement. There's also the singing alphabet. With the singing alphabet, students learn letter recognition through music. When a letter is chosen, it's sung out loud. They can be arranged to make different types of music. And once again, it can assist students by using a musical format. Plus, it's fun. And of course, there's ABC, The Lonely Beast. This is based on a popular children's book. This is where children can learn the alphabet and discover new words and have a lot of fun at the same time. Students who know this book, this would be a great application for them because they're going to learn better because of the association they already have with the story. Anytime you can connect one of these reading apps with a story the student's already familiar with, the better chance the student's going to be engaged and stay on task. Well, I hope this information was helpful learning print concepts. In the next series, in the next series of my short videos on this, I'm going to be touching on phonological awareness, phonics and recognition, and fluency at the kindergarten level. Hope this was helpful. See you again soon.